One, two, three. One, two, three. Third quarter, Seth Green's pass is complete, but the ball is popped loose by A.J. Carroll, picked up by Luke Burke, and he's going the other way, all the way down to the East Ridge 11-yard line. And on the ensuing possession, Joe Fredrickson hits Ryan Kaczynski in the corner of the end zone. 7 nothing. Moundsview takes the lead early in the third. Next Moundsview possession, same combination, Fredrickson to Kaczynski for another score, 14-0 Mustangs late in the third quarter. East Ridge would answer, though, in the fourth. Connor Mose caps off a long drive with a one-yard touchdown. They missed the PAT, so it's 14-6 with 9.05 to go. But Moundsview would have an answer of its own. Watch number 33 calling for the ball over the middle here. Fredrickson hits him. That's Joe Janey, and Janey does the rest on a 76-yard touchdown. Eastridge had allowed just 21 points on defense all year. Moundsview matches that, 21-6 in the fourth. Making a statement in a 21-6 win. We created some turnovers tonight, um, and just keeping them out of that end zone in the first half was huge. To go into halftime at 0-0 was big for us. The coach has been telling us all week. We know we knew all week it was going to be a could be a fist fight. It was going to be a hard one, and we came into this thing and played our hearts out and ended up getting a win. Work early to James King, six nothing Islanders in front. But Holy Angels? Holy Angels, Greg Knack answers it for the Stars. Little open space. They were the surprise state tournament runner-up last year and beat De La Salle along the way. De La Salle counters with Marquise Bridges. We've called his number often this year from Billy Hart. Nice cutback. But De La Salle couldn't... Drive to win. John Kipper scores and Holy Angels knocks off De La Salle. Final score tonight in a big win, 16 to 12 in favor of the start. Brad Davison with the handoff to Isaac Collins, touchdown run, and the Crimson led 20 to 14. They're at home in this game. District rivals, great game. Malik Gallard hands it off to Justin Eichior. He scores for Osseo. They win late on a missed field goal by Maple Grove, 27-26 was the final. Hey, this may have been the game of the night. Osteo and Maple Grove. Maple Grove the favorite, but the Oreos show they cannot just come out and play. They can come out and play to win. Crimson's Clark Weineke added again to the end zone. But Osteo keeps coming back and keeps making plays. Prince Krua has been doing it all season. He finished this from short yardage. The Oreo O got some help from the D. Demario Armstrong, a pick. This went to the final seconds. Maple Grove missed a field goal to win it. Osseo pulls it off just barely, 27-26. Be great if it was my birthday. Unbeaten and defending champion Hutchinson against once beaten Holy Family. The Tigers are on a terror again. Fumble snap turns into a pick six when Adam Elliott takes it the other way. Elliott is one of those athletes that can play both sides of the ball. Part of an outstanding senior class from Marcus Hahn. He's gone again. It was 48-0 just into the third quarter. You get the idea. Hutch wins it going away. 62-7 over Holy Family. Wow. Second ring Rosemont was looking to keep pace with top ranked Eam Prairie. The Irish at Lakeville South. Dimitri Williams finds the end zone here on this short run for the game's only first half score. It was a quiet night for Rosemont's offense until late, but that doesn't matter. The defense was up for the challenge. Big hits, Larry Thompson's Cougars. Just a touchdown was all they could muster. A win for the Irish, 28-7. Rosemont hopes to wrap up an unbeaten regular season next week, hosting Shakopee. Look at the crowd, big crowd there tonight. Cole McDevitt, the quarterback to Nick Adams. This is a 33-yard TD strike and Eastview wins. Much more highlights on the 11 o'clock show, 38-15. A 12-yard TD run here for the Panthers and they win going away in the South Suburban 42-13. Egan at Shakopee tonight, Tom Zenner, a couple of touchdown runs and then this nice pass to the tight end, Alex Rood, and they win over Shakopee tonight in the South Suburban. Final score was 27-7. Farmington crushed by Pryor Lake tonight and Eden Prairie. Jake Marsh, the quarterback in his own end zone, is picked off by the Eagles. That's not a good play. It would lead to a short touchdown run and Eden Prairie wins tonight over their rival Wyzetta 27-13 final. And Hopkins, second quarter, Tyler Lee to DT Williams, 
five-yard touchdown strike, and the Hopkins Royals will play Eden Prairie next Wednesday night. They beat Edina 27-24. They're five and two. We were up in Becker tonight when the Becker Bulldogs took on St. Cloud Cathedral. Michael Veldman's the quarterback. Nice rollout. He'll find Eric Blomgren for a 63-yard TD pass. Becker winning big tonight at home. Much more highlights on the 11 o'clock show, 48-7 final. Soda River, Watertown Mayor, and Jordan. A little double reverse flea flicker. And Titus Schmidt to Daniel Gutzmer. Nice TD strike for the Jordan Hubman. However, Watertown Mayor would win this game tonight to grab hold the first place in the Minnesota River. Final score tonight was 35-20 in favor of Watertown Mayor. Throw East now. It's South St. Paul Hill Murray. Touchdown Dan Petrazuski. South St. Paul after that big win over Simley last week wins tonight at Hill Murray. Final score was 28 to 14. We'll keep the ball. He's the quarterback and he will keep it and take it for the touchdown. Nice cutback against Simley, and Matamidi wins tonight in the Metro East. Final score was 34-21. And Kennedy in the Metro West, Justin Arnold will scramble, and he'll scramble, and he'll scramble against Kennedy, and he'll take it in for the touchdown, and the final was 28-14 in favor of uh, uh, actually, 56-29 was the final. Chaska Jefferson knocked off by Benilde St. Margaret's. All right. St. Paul Central can put up points, and they did all night against Highland Park. That's part of the formula I thought there. Just give the ball to Garrett Gardner, give him some blocks, let him do the rest. It was a very effective game plan. He and the Minutemen lit up the scoreboard. They beat Highland Park in a track meet, 64-33. Washburn hoping to stay near the top of the city conference. You want to see one of the great catches of the season? Wow, D'Angelo Moore. Whoa, he's just a sophomore. Miller's up 13-7 to the half. Southwest blocked a punt late. Then Deshaun Brown goes around the bend. That's Creedence Clearwater for the kids. Southwest pulls it off 14-13. The final regular season ends on Wednesday next week. 